how to fix a failing OWC Thunder Bay drive, disk failure, replacement, and RAID rebuild. I own an OWC Thunder Bay 4 drive. It's been a dependable drive for me for over five years. Disk failure. One day, I powered up my computer and the OWC drive and got an error message. Disk predicted to fail. This was very scary, as I have a lot of important data on that drive. Luckily, my Thunder Bay drive has four individual drives in it, and since it's RAID 5, if just one of those drives fails, it can be replaced and all of the data will still be okay. I then launched my soft RAID software that I use with my Thunder Bay drive. Sure enough, the error popped up again. A disk should be replaced. It contains excessive bad sectors. I clicked OK. I then clicked on the Thunder Bay 1 volume in the software. To the left of it, it shows that the second 6TB drive is the one predicted to fail. So I got lucky. The other three drives are fine at this point. If I right click on the failing drive, I can select Blink Disk Light. Then the light on the bad drive begins blinking. So I know out of the four drives, the second one, known as the B drive, is the bad one. I'll right click on the bad drive and click Blink Disk Light again to stop the blinking. I called OWC. They sold me a replacement drive. I could have purchased the drive anywhere, but they had a reasonable price. It came a few days later. Disk replacement. Now let's replace the bad drive. It's completely unplugged from the computer and from power. It's a good idea to work on a soft static free work surface mat and use a grounding wrist strap. I'll leave links to these items. First, remove the front panel from the Thunder Bay. You just insert the key that came with the drive and unlock it by turning clockwise. Then pull it toward you a little bit, and then pull up on the door and it will come right off. Next, I'll remove the bad drive, in my case, the one in slot B, by loosening the appropriate thumb screw and then using it to slide the old drive out. There are screws holding the drive in place, two on each side. I'll unscrew them all to remove the old drive from the tray. With all four screws removed, pull the tray off of the old drive, then remove the new drive from its packaging. Then swap the old drive with the new one, making sure it's in the same position. Then place the tray on the new drive and lock it in place with four screws. Two screws on each side. Next, slide the new drive in its tray into the correct slot. Slot B in my case. Then push it in and turn the thumb screw to lock it in place. Finally, place the door into the bottom part of the enclosure then shut the door and lock it with the key. That's it. Then plug the drive into the computer and into a wall outlet. Then turn the drive on. Then power the computer. RAID Rebuild Now that we have a new drive in slot B, let's rebuild the RAID so that our data is safe. I got two error messages right away. The disk you attach was not readable by this computer and soft RAID volume missing disks. I'll click ignore and OK. Then I'll launch the soft RAID app. You'll notice in Thunder Bay 1, it says degraded missing disks. If I select it, you'll see the three old drives it's connected to. The one below it is our new drive. It has a question mark on it. If I select the drive and right click on it, I can select Initialize. Then I'll click Initialize. It will require your computer password. Enter it and click OK. 
This gets the drive ready to be used. After a few seconds, the question mark will go away, and it's ready. Then I'll click Thunder Bay 1. Then right click and select Add Disk. Then click on the new disk to select it, then click Add. Click Add once more. This begins the rebuilding of the volume. I'll click OK. This may take some time to complete. It gives me an estimate of about 8 hours in my case. Leave the computer and drive on. Once the rebuilding is complete, all four drives in the enclosure will be working together and your data will be safe, even if a single different drive fails in the future. That's the beauty of RAID 5. It gives you time to fix the drive. Well, I hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.